my name is Mike Motter, WVU class of 2019 and 2021. And this is my gold shirt, which has seen better days, but hopefully you can still see that it says West Virginia. I am coming to you today because tomorrow is one of the biggest days in WVU football history, and that is the Backyard Brawl being revived, where we will play the Pittsburgh Panthers up in Pittsburgh for the first time in a long time. For those of you who will be going to that game, or for any other game this year, there's a few things you should know. <clears throat> first of all, WVU says their official colors are old gold and blue. What they don't tell you is that old gold is a different color than the one they really use. It's much more similar to the one that the New Orleans Saints use. When they say gold, they mean this color gold. So if they do the Gold Rush game, which they are doing next week on the 10th, and I'll be at that game, you show up wearing this. They do stripe the stadium and you're in a gold section. This color. Don't come in wearing a Saints jersey. That color. Also, Pitt kind of uses that color too. Secondly, be in the stadium about 30 minutes before kickoff. That means you're in there, you're sitting down, you're ready to watch the pregame band show. First of all, the pregame band shows are pretty awesome. Secondly, <clears throat> A lot of people, I've noticed, tend to not get into the stadium until midway through the first quarter of the game. And when you do this, you give people the chance to take pictures of the stadium half empty and go, <laughs> These idiots don't have anyone at the game! <laughs> the stadium does fill up later on in the game, but I really think that it's better for everyone to show up to show the band their support and to take away any chance of taking those pictures. <laughs> the third thing, when the band comes out to play, the drum line will come out first. That is not the entire band. I thought that it was for a while longer than I'd like to admit. Okay, actually it was more like a few minutes, but still. And when the band comes out after the drum line does, well, the drum line will play for a bit, the band will come out, they'll make all the big introductions. The first thing that they'll do when they come out is do a melody that's something like... You'll understand, it's just that melody. Bonk, 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 bonk. At this point, everyone in the stadium will go, W! B! Go! W! B! Go! Which can be kind of startling if you don't know what they're doing but just man just keep in mind that that will happen and you should be fine remember w v u w v u notice it's w v u and not u w v <laughs> for anyone who watching this who may be from a certain tv network when the band is done and it's time for the game before the first kickoff, take your keys out. Jingle them. People used to do this before kickoffs. They still do it to some extent, but it used to sound like the whole stadium was electrified. Now it don't sound like that anymore as much. You just hear a few jingles here and there. So if people start doing that, it'll sound a lot better. Trust me. Now during the game, there's a few different cheers. Mainly they consist of <laughs> But one in particular is called the first down cheer. So when you see a WVU player cross over the first down marker, raise your hands up like this. And start going <laughs> Keep doing this and then wait for the announcer to announce what the play was. And when he says, first down, West Virginia, it's WVU, first down. And when you do this last part, you go in the direction the team's going. Sometimes it's that way, sometimes it's that way. Whatever direction the team's going, that's how you do it. Third downs come up, stick three of your fingers out, do like that. And if there's a touchdown, 
do the aforementioned at cheer. Finally, the last major thing of note for the games is Country Roads. And I know you all know this song because many of you, when you hear I went to WVU, you don't know anything about the school, anything about the state. You don't even know the state's another state besides Virginia, but you still start randomly singing that song. So I know you guys know this. Game ends, Mountaineers win. Put your arms around whoever's next to you, start swaying, and belt out country roads as loudly as you possibly can. If you do this, you'll be part of the best tradition in college football. Other teams have a song they sing after the game, but they're not as good as country roads. So bear that in mind as you're going to the games this season. Best of luck to our Mountaineers tomorrow, and let's go!